Now, welcome back. Now, the massive problem of unemployment is arguably the root of our country's major challenges. Now, here at KTN, we want to change that and give job seekers an opportunity to give back to the society. We also want to celebrate you, the employer, who has heard the cries of the unemployed and have given them something to fall back on. We will also give entrepreneurs a chance to tell us their first big break and how they made it to where they are now. Now, on Job Center tonight, we bring you a story of a young man who is giving back to the society, even though the same society has not offered him any job opportunities for the last three years. 27-year-old Wycliffe Siko, who has a diploma in journalism and mass communication, tells us his story. No, he's not a class teacher. Nor is he a choir master. Wycliffe Siko is in fact jobless. For the last three years, this young man has been searching for a job in vain. And just like the hundreds of jobless youth across the country, he has been sending his resume to different organizations, but has never received any positive response. <laughs> However, Siko has been doing what most job seekers across the country would consider a huge sacrifice and somewhat a waste of time. He has been volunteering to mentor young people in different colleges across Nairobi. He teaches them to be confident and to nurture their different talents. Siko decided not just to sit and do nothing about his lack of a job. He's giving back to the society at no cost. This particular group is getting ready to go and perform at a funeral, but they lack the confidence. This is where Siko comes in. You can do something to earn a living. Like many other graduates who are job seekers, Siko tells us that his journey has not been easy. I studied journalism and mass communication and I graduated in the year 2010 from Nairobi Aviation College. No, I've been looking for a job. In fact, I'm still looking for a job because even this talent I'm trying to nurture into the lives of the students, I'm volunteering. So I just thought I should be, instead of sitting back in the house, doing nothing i should move around touching the lives of those who who aspire to be somebody in life but uh, they don't have anything so that at the end of the day when they are through with the, the academic uh, level instead of just sitting and waiting to be employed they can use their talent to earn a living for a day to end well for siko is a blessing and every other new dawn presents a new challenge to him Waking up to the harsh reality of hard Nairobi life without a job and no income has not weakened his hopes that one day a door somewhere will open for him. I don't have any source of income at all. And the reason as to why I started this group, I'm hoping that this group, through this group, the, the Uezo Fund that the president launched uh, just recently will assist us. We decided to help Siko position himself better for the job market and we took him to meet the human resource director at Standard Media Group, Pauline Kiraide. Hi, Victor, how are you? I'm very fine. What led you to selecting a career in media? Media has always been my passion ever since I was in class 7. I remember during that time I used to write news, whatever is happening in school, I remember it's a primary school, whatever is happening, and uh, read it during the assembly's time. Uh, and after that, going to high school too, I was appointed to be the, the chair, uh, chairperson, uh, CU, um, CU and journalism club, also drama. And uh, during, again, that level, I used to go to other schools, uh, collect news, games, drama, festivals, bring news to the students and read it during the assembly time. So what do you enjoy about journalism? TV, uh, news uh, reporting. I chose TV because, uh, you see, when you're talking about radio, in some other places around the country, st people still listen to KBC. And uh, these FM stations are not clear there. And in fact, they are not, uh, they are not uh, uh, available to some other places of, around the country. And TV assists uh, the audience to see the motion of the newsmaker, to see the challenges of the, 
of the newsmaker. So in search of a job, what have you done? I've been uh, dropping my CV to different media houses and also alongside my CV there's a program I, I tried to come up with while I was still a student. Uh, I went to a school called Joytown, Joytown Secondary School in Thika where I met children with disability and I interviewed them, uh, they told me their story and uh, I made a DVD of that, uh, uh, of that story. I also went to Star Special Center in Kaua West. I did the same and came up with a DVD. So I, I usually attach this DVD just to show uh, my employer to be what uh, I'm capable of doing. Pauline Kiraide also gives him a word of advice. It's good that at least you've done your physical drop-offs for your CVs. But I think the other thing is also good for you to go the extra mile to try and find out who are the key uh, recruiters in those various organizations. Another more sure way of getting in to the job market would be for you to actually seek first to get an internship where you're not looking for a job looking to either do an internship with the organization first because you actually now do get to learn. Siko did not let this opportunity pass him by. He took us by surprise when he asked the HR director this. Since uh, I did journalism and uh, uh, you've talked about when I'm looking for a job I should start from the intern internship and you've said uh, that is where I, that's what I should look for. I request that you give me a chance in your media house. And this was the HR's response. What I'll do is, uh, yes, I'll take your CV. And for sure, at least I can see you're really passionate about media. And yes, we'll call you in. Well, we'll let you know if Wycliffe Siko got his first ever internship at the Standard Media Group after featuring on our Job Center segment. My name is Wycliffe Siko. I have diploma in journalism and mass communication. I graduated in the year 2010, but since then I've never been employed. I'm appealing to any media house watching me through KTN to grant me a job in TV reporting. Najma Ismail, KTN's Job Center.